Hey, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. This is your afternoon tropical update. We have a lot of things going on. Matter of fact, I went in great detail in my video this morning, so if you did not see it, please go see it. I'm going to make this as quick as possible for you. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But I will make sure you are covered with everything you need to know. Hit that subscribe button. I am all year around. Guys, hit that like button if you like these tropical updates because I'm noticing things are changing quick. Matter of fact, not only do we have a chance for this storm to become a hurricane now, even greater than this morning, I'm showing the next storm that's coming. We have a good chance for back-to-back -back hurricanes in the Gulf. Uh, still the same as this morning. You still have tropical storm force winds available after it passes Puerto Rico as well as right here over Dominican Republic and Haiti. And then it gets more tropical storm force winds as it goes over Cuba. This is where the surface lows is going to energize back up and strengthen back up is the southern Bahamas going towards western Bahamas. That's where the strength is going to happen. Now when 8 p.m. comes out, I will post this on my community tab like always. And as you can see, I did post this earlier. And now they have a disturbance one, 20% chance within the next five days, 10% chance in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours but this will be five days away before this starts strengthening real good but look how big this area is because we have multiples we actually have two still potential tropical cyclone six it will be tropical storm fred when it gets a closed low it's going to be so strong with the winds it's not even going to be a depression it's going to go straight to tropical storm fred it won't even be a tropical depression fred now the tropical storm warnings are still the same and so are the tropical storm watches but I can tell you that the Bahamas, as well as Southern Florida, will be in tropical storm watches soon, as well as a storm surge watch. So as the system goes by Cuba and strengthens and goes by Florida, it'll be spinning counterclockwise. So it'll be shoving all that water, all that rain, all that heavy winds. It'll be getting shoved on land. So Florida Keys and Southern Florida, you need to watch out for storm surge. You will have that. I will update it when Noah shows it. Now, when you look in the euro, look at the possibility of tropical depression. The next 72 hours, it has a 100% chance of being a tropical depression. It already is. It's just waiting for a closed low. But you see how it will start weakening down within the next 72 hours as it moves forward. Then as it goes towards Florida, you can see it has another chance right here to strengthen right back up, right by the Florida Keys, and go towards the Florida Panhandle. As well as that next system that's coming, the Disturbance 1, it will be Invest 95L. As it takes the same path as Tropical Storm Fred, potentially Hurricane Fred, PTC 6, whatever you want to call it, and goes towards the Southern Bahamas by the 19th. And I'm actually picking up, there's a section over here that we pick up a little faint hint of hurricane force winds. And we haven't picked that up all season, even with these storms. And here's a faint hint. And this is right on the 18th. And this is for hurricane force winds, and we haven't seen that all season. We don't even see that now. Then it will stay around for a few days and stretch around. There's something going on right by the Bahamas, southeast Florida, around the 18th. And that's where the second wave is going to be. Now, if you look according to the euro, you can see our system here. And as it runs through, and see it does intensify right there before it gets to the Dominican Republic. And then as it goes towards Cuba and Florida, it starts to get a little bit more strength. And right there on Friday, the 13th right there, and you can see the next wave coming right behind it. Then as it moves forward, it goes right over Florida. There was an intensification moment right there for a period intensifies some more in the northeast of Florida by the panhandle and goes in towards Georgia and intensifies again. I've been showing that this morning that it intensifies while it goes on land and that's according to the euro and that's still showing. While Tropical Storm Fred, Hurricane Fred, whatever goes towards the panhandle of Florida, the second wave will be starting to come over Puerto Rico in that area. Then you still have your third wave still getting suppressed down by the dry air and the dust because there's a big plume coming behind that. Then it goes towards Cuba, just like the other one did. It had a little intensification period right there on the 18th, and it just starts moving forward. So the outcome of that, I did show a lot of ensembles. You need to go check out my video from this morning. This can go to Texas, Louisiana multiple times, as well as Alabama, Mississippi, Panhandle, Florida multiple times. Now this is where it's going to get a little interesting. I think that those hurricane force winds that a Euro is picking up. This is GFS, and you can see that in just a... A couple hours is going to get a nice strong 
thunderstorm ring around it and it's going to start going towards Cuba and southern Florida. It will start getting some heavy rainfall right there and start intensifying some. But it's showing that it's a little more easterly and goes straight over Florida, straight to the southeast. Now what you don't see here is the second one right behind it, just like the Euro showed, a little bit more southern. And the trend is northern. I'm going to back this up so you can see both of them together because this really starts to do a dance. While you have the first system coming on land, the second one comes up. And then it starts headed towards the Bahamas and Florida. And you get the third piece of energy over here. Pay attention to this because this is really going to wonk it around as well. Then this system comes back into the Gulf. Kind of like a Harvey thing where it came on land and went back in the ocean. Strengthened up, went back on land. But it comes back into the Gulf while this energy is coming towards that way as well. And they kind of get together into one thing over Cuba while this third one swings around with a little Fujiwara effect and goes towards the southeast of the U.S. Get a nice little bend in there. And that's a lot of heavy precipitation. All this purple is very heavy precipitation. And you got to imagine from central Florida and down has been in the rain and heavy rainfall the whole time, the whole time throughout this whole charade of a dance with these storms and heavy rainfall the whole time and it comes back still got to see what the update is on that but there's a lot going on and right at that moment where we got all that twist going on that's where the euro picked up the hurricane force winds and it was a very minuscule but we haven't picked that up yet this year this is definitely the first time and it is showing great potential. As well as the one that was on land for Southeast Tropical Storm Fred comes back out and does something over there by Louisiana and Texas. So there's about to be a big thing happening and we really need to get a grip on it. I will do a thorough investigation in the morning on this. There's an afternoon update. It's supposed to be faster. <laughs> As of right now, PTC-6, Potential Tropical Cyclone-6, Tropical Storm Fred, will be a tropical storm within the next 12 to 24 hours still. It's just waiting for a closed low. They just keep pushing it off until it gets closed low, then they'll call it a tropical storm. Now, it does have a chance to intensify in about three days once it gets off of Cuba and starts heading towards Florida. A bunch of models show it would be a strong tropical storm. The, the NNIC... It's just going crazy. It's being pretty much an outlier. It sees that there's some intensification and it's just taking it haywire. There will be some intensification and it could be a chance for a low grade hurricane. Let me show you what the H wharf found and the H wharf has been right many times. Now, according to the GFS, it will be over here by Saturday on the 14th and it will stay somewhat weak. It weak it strengthens up from 1009 to 1006 so it intensifies something. And then it goes on land, which weakens it down and brings it on land as not a major tropical storm or hurricane. The GFS is the only one that shows Saturday. Uh, the Euro shows that it will be Friday on the 13th and pass by Florida and not intensify much. It will go from 1014 to 1010 before it goes on land with that intensification. Now the Nav Gem, which also shows that it will be right there for Friday the 13th, and as it passes by, it shows it intensifies, gets down to a hurricane right towards the panhandle of Florida by Sunday on the 15th. And it strengthens a little bit more. Down to a 987. Hurricane. And H. Wolf also takes it by Southern Bahamas as a 992 on Friday the 13th. And brings it towards Western Bahamas and Florida as you go through your Friday and strengthens to a hurricane and strengthens more to a 972 hurricane by Saturday the 14th. Hitting somewhere as close to Miami. Going straight over Florida. Mostly as a hurricane then a tropical storm. Big system bringing lots of heavy rainfall, big bands of rain. So the Euro for the next five days does show that it will be somewhat two inches for southern Florida while the heaviness is offshore. It's been showing that for a while. And the 10 day from the Euro shows that it will go all the way towards the Panhandle, Florida, hit uh, Georgia, South Carolina still showing heaviness for y'all up to nine inches now. 
North Carolina, uh, Virginia, Maryland, and Jersey as well. GFS takes it in five days where you, it's a little more to the east. So it takes it right on the edge of Florida. So all you have your rainfall is east side loaded and you'll get all this heavy four to five, even possibly six inches of rainfall, maybe more all across Florida, mostly on the east side towards Miami. And GFS shows that the full track, it will stay around here. And since it does all that wonkiness, it don't go all the way up to the mid-Atlantic. It goes all the way up to Georgia with the heaviness. Now, after all the wonkiness, which I'm sure this will change a lot, but you can see the, <laughs> the wonkiness. But it was very heavy, and it's now bringing even more towards the coast of South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. And this puts over 10, 12 inches of rainfall. And here's another look from the Caribbean. It don't put a whole bunch on Jamaica. Jamaica, it puts somewhere around 5 or 6 inches for you. Cuba gets covered. The Bahamas, good chance of getting covered. And southern Florida, good chance of getting covered. And here's what all that wonkiness looks like. You can see that right here, it has a chance on Sunday on the 22nd. This will change. It's a little too far. But it has two upper level lows right there trying to get a closed low. And they're fighting for the energy. And it wins on the southeast side so far. And then it tries to come on land. That's what all that precipitation curving that you saw. Then maybe a cold front or something hits it. I will investigate. And as it gets knocked down further to the south, it goes back over Florida again as another storm. As another storm potential starts up over Louisiana where the original tropical storm Fred came back out. All right, guys, so y'all know I will update y'all in the morning. It will be a thorough investigation of what's going on because I really believe not only what we're dealing with now, but what is coming is going to be a pretty big and major event. Please share this video not only for the information for the storm we're dealing with now, but what is coming right after. We are literally going to have back-to-back -back storms with potentially back-to-back -back hurricanes, guys. Please help share the info. If you don't use social media, just like the video. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much. God bless you for helping. But this time it is Revelation 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And the, and the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shalt be, because thou hast judged us. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water there, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth, mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. 
And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. For the plague thereof was exceeding great. Amen. God bless you all this evening. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. I pray you all will stay and remain safe. God bless you, Puerto Rico. I'm so glad this, the worst part of the storm is below you. That's a good thing. We have more rain coming your way. Please share this video, guys. Please help alert others. You're doing a great job. Please continue to help. Thank you. All glory does go to Yahweh, the God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very great and safe night.